for this project, you'll want glass pieces of varying translucency and to compare your glass pieces over a source of light to see how overlapping them can change the shade and the opacity of those colors. In this project, I'm going to be creating a landscape with opaque and translucent colors. You're going to want one clear glass piece as your base in the dimensions of your landscape. I arranged my entire composition beforehand with everything stacked on top of each other to see how it would look. Took a picture of it and am now gluing things down after I've decided where everything will go. I highly recommend not gluing anything down until you have the full composition figured out because you might want to overlap pieces that formerly you thought that you wouldn't. Between each layer of glass that I add, such as the whole background, I wait a while for the glue to dry before adding more layers on top of it. This is so that the glass doesn't shift as I'm adding more pieces and more weight into certain areas. Remember that you should not be using tons of glue. Just a little dot here and there will do to secure it onto your base. So now that my full fuse has come back out with all my pieces intact, I'm going to be adding black glass glaze to the surface and getting it full fused once again. Another thing to keep in mind is that while you will be using black glaze on your glass, you will also be using gold luster, both of which you need to purchase for yourself as we are not sharing all of our items in the studio these days. Here is an example of gold leaf made by Duncan that you can purchase for yourself. And you'll also want to purchase some essence, which helps you clean up any excessive residue of your gold leaf. You'll also want a toothpick that can help you pack in your gold leaf into this fluid writer that you can get from Kemper Tools online, and a couple of Q-tips in case you make a little bit of a spill and need to use your essence to clean up some lines. Here I'm using the toothpick to pack my little bowl in the fluid writer with gold leaf. I'm just dipping my toothpick into the gold leaf and then applying it to the bowl. Unless you touch the tip of your writing apparatus to a surface, the gold will not be coming out of the little bowl that you add your gold leaf to. And now I'm going to be applying the gold leaf to my project in all areas just to highlight some pieces and also to draw some pieces in. I'm particularly paying attention to the black area as I want gold leaf to really shine right there. And as you're adding this to your project, make sure you keep track of where your hand is resting as you may accidentally rest your palm or the side of your hand right into some gold leaf and have to clean it up with some essence. The gold leafing can be used to highlight or accentuate some of the lines you've made or to add more items to areas that are blank. I'm utilizing it in both ways during this project, adding some drawing into the black area that you cannot see until it has been fired. And speaking of firing, you want to put this in for a slump firing once you're done applying all of your gold luster.
And here's the final project, very translucent, very cute. And also you can see those little hidden details that I had applied to the black area previously that you could not see. So thank you for joining me. Enjoy making your landscape with gold luster and we will see you next week.